I, Edward III of England, in this year 1348, have been instructed by the authority to call this meeting of the Most High to report on the terror that we have spread in the minds of the populace. Report first, please, my good night from Wessex. Well, sire, the majority are in terror, as predicted, but there are some who say that in reality they know of nobody sick, and that the chapels of ease have no more patience than before. Yes, we're addressing this. We're widening the diagnoses. Basically, soon, virtually any illness will now be diagnosed as the Black Plague. It is all very vague. Even the doctors will follow, whether with us or not. Sire, from Durham there is a disturbing movement of conspiracists. We are not frightening them. They do not even believe in the pathogen. A good point, and one which will be solved by pharmacaea. Are you familiar with the word pharmacaea? It is a Greek word, meaning those who do witchcraft, create potions, sorcery and enchantments. The authority have instructed pharmacaea to make potions, to cure the plague ostensibly. We will pretend that it will be forced onto the populace, this potion. We have started to introduce it in East Anglia. We are going to pretend that it is made with heavy metals, especially mercury. Mercury always gets them going. Sire, the conspiracists will surely never believe that a potion would be made as ridiculous as that. Rubbish. Their pathetic, paranoid, feeble minds lap up any nonsensical fear porn we feed them. They lap it up like their mother's milk. The more ridiculous, the more they believe it. We can even pretend to put in ludicrous ingredients like human fetus and pig fetus. And they will believe that. We will instruct the truthers to spread this fear porn. The truthers are a Franciscan order, fiercely loyal to the authority. Well, almost all. Some are neutral and some are useful idiots, spreading our message without realising it. An easy trap to fall into. We will instruct them to devote 10% or more of their output to terrifying the conspiracists over this forced evil potion. We will instruct them to constantly invent reports of how the potion is harming crippling, even killing people. And we shall have our official outlets stating that the potion must be repeated to be of any use. And do you know what the potion actually is? I'm authorised to tell you it is water. Well, saline solution to be precise, but as saline solution is almost all water, we call it water for simplicity. Sire, I am of East Anglia. My brother took this potion. He is ignorant and asleep. And he developed rashes and had difficulty walking. And how can you say what he took was water? Ah yes, but Pharmacaea has great power. But limited to influence in the spiritual realm. It is limited to placebo and the contrary, nocebo. If some, somebody takes something that he is truly frightened of, he can get physical symptoms. But sire, even rash or infirmity, yes, even death. And this is our success, for we cannot harm materially, but we can induce those weak of spirit to harm themselves materially, with our lies. And that is our success. And may our victims' spirits do better in the next realm for they have surely failed in this. Sire, so you are saying that most are terrified of a pathogen that doesn't really exist, and the remainder will be made to be terrified of a forced potion that also 
doesn't really exist. Yes, exactly so.